Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use ESP32 Wi-Fi cam for face recognition using Python. Now you must be wondering that, but Harshit, ESP32 is a Arduino component and Arduino uses a language very similar to C. So how we can use that in Python? Now you are not wrong entirely because we'll use the Arduino language only to set up the ESP32 but after ESP32 is all set up we'll use the output recorded from our ESP32 for face recognition in Python which I'll show you in just a minute okay so first of all let's take a look at the component required so this is our ESP32 let me focus so that you can see the versions just a second okay so now here you can see that this is our ESP32 uh, chip now my camera was having some problem with the focusing okay so I'll provide the link from which you can buy this ESP32 as well as this Arduino which I'll just show you so this is our ESP32 it will come with uh, this camera not attached so you have to attach it I'll show you how you can attach this camera also just a second okay so this is our ESP32 and this is our Arduino okay this is our Arduino Uno and I'll provide the link from which you can buy these two things okay and that link will be an Amazon affiliate link so yeah if you buy from that link I will earn some commission so if you want you can buy from outside also there is no restriction but make sure you are buying the same model I'll provide all the information of this ESP32 and this Arduino in the description section below and you also need a power supply you can choose between this uh, power bank if you want or you can choose something like this battery I guess this is 12 watt let me focus and my phone is having some problem with the focusing today so yeah you can see that this is 12 volt okay so i prefer using this power bank because it is very easily to connect as well as it is very easy to find and you can use this for multiple purpose okay so this is the Cisco one i'll provide the link for that also if you want to buy now you will also need some connecting wires uh, just a second some connecting wires like this some male to male some male to female and some female to female okay so you need these wires I'll provide all the link in the description okay okay so now we are good to go let's start off with first the connection so let me focus on this so what you need to do is you need to connect the 5 watt of this ESP32 the first pin on this side to the 5 watt of Arduino Uno which is present over here let me focus so you can see 5 watt here now you need to grab one male to female wire connect the 5 watt pin this one connect the 5 watt pin and then connect this to the 5 watt on our Arduino Uno. Let me put this aside. Now the 5 watt is just in the side of the ground. So make sure you are not connecting to the ground. You are connecting to the 5 watt. Okay. Okay. So now you need to grab another male to female connecting wire. Also called the jumper wires. And then connect it from the ground. Present just beside our 5 volt connect it here and then connect this to the ground of our ESP32 which is present just just in the side of 5 volt okay so just connect this okay now take another male to female wire and then connect the male section to the TX of our Arduino let me get this male section and connect to the TX of our Arduino here you can see this is present TX so you can see this is our TX sorry this is our TX so connect this to our TX the second pin here okay 
and then take this wire and connect it to V naught T on the second lane of our ESP32. This is the first lane and this is the second lane. So connect it to the V naught T. Okay. So let me make my camera still and connect this to the V naught T. Okay. The second pin. So let me connect this to the second pin. The first not the second pin. Okay. The first is round, the second is V naught T. And the third is V naught R. So take another male to female wire and connect the female section to the V naught R. Uh, v naught R to the Rx of our Arduino Uno, which is the last uh, section. Okay, which is the last. Actually, I missed this one. This should be the second last and this should be the last one. Okay. So, Rx is the last one and Tx is the second last one. So, let me uh, connect them properly. Okay. Now, what you need to do is take a male to male connecting wire and connect the ground. Uh, we have two ground on this uh, side. So, connect one ground. To the reset, make sure it is inserted properly and connect it to the reset button which is present on the third last uh, socket or whatever you can say. So, the third last one, second, and third last. Okay, so connect it to the third last one which is our reset. Okay, now take one female to female wire and connect the ground of our ESP32. Uh, which is present on the second lane on which we are having the V naught R and V naught T. Just a second, yeah, this one. Okay, so this the third pin from here. Actually, the second pin from this side. Okay, this is the ground. I guess. Let me see. Is this the ground one? No. This is the input one. The third one is the ground. Okay. So connect this to ground. Okay, so the input is connected to the ground. Okay, so now the connection is done and let me show you that how you can connect this camera. So, uh, if you have received this package from Amazon or any other website, you may have received the camera and this chip separately. So, what you need to do is you need to grab this camera, put this like this inside this. Okay, so you you need to lift this lid like this. Okay. Lift this lid like this. Put this inside. And then close it properly. Just a second. Let me place this properly. Okay. And then just close this. Okay. So now this is properly working. Make sure the lens of the camera is facing upwards. Okay. So now the connection is done. Okay. So from where this one got out. So this one is for ground so let me connect this to the ground okay so now we are done with the connection let's connect the wire which is this wire you must have got this with your arduino uno connect this part with the arduino uno in this section it may take several tries okay so it got in in the first try okay so let's get to our laptop so that we can see that what we need to do to get this esp32 started okay